Hey everybody, it's Makeup Dr. Cherie for another episode of Devotional Deva. Today is Tuesday. Um, it's August the 1st and it's the start of our 30 by 30. Um, before we get started talking about that, let me do the Psalms 1914 so I don't forget. Uh, I just like to say, may the words of my mouth and this meditation in my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, rock, my, my rock, my redeemer. I like to try to say that before each one just to remind myself that it's not for my will, but the Lord's will that I'm doing this. And so, um, yeah, today is the beginning of the 30 by 30. Um, and um, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, the church I go to, Summit Park Church, is doing the 30 by 30 our daily journey, a 30 day walk with Jesus, which is through the Uversion app. They have the daily devotionals and that's a 30 day devotional through there. So I've invited my sister, my brothers and stuff to, to join me in that and you as well, if you'd like to, there's going to be information in the description below, um, to the devotional and, um, and then you can find other devotionals on there if you don't want to do that one, but it's just 30 minutes a day for 30 days. Each day you spend 30 minutes. It could be 10 minutes in prayer, 10 minutes in worship. So I like to sing, listen to Christian music. I'll do that for more than 10 minutes anyway. And um, and then 10 minutes reading the Bible. So I, I think it's really easy to do when you break it up, as our pastor said, in the 10 minute sections like that. So I'm very excited about it. Um, and I might do more than one devotional because I like to have one in the morning and one I read in the evening time too. So there's another one that's called New Through 30 that I like that goes through the New Testament in 30 days. So I might do that in the evening time and do the other one in the morning time. We'll see what happens. Uh, but in the first day of the 30 day devotional, it starts out with talking about faith. And I <laughs> I will have to tell you, I'm trying to do doing the devotional and do my makeup at the same time because I have to uh, have some place I have to go. And, um, and I'm gonna be testing out the wig. So I wanna test out the wig in, in a hot climate and I'm um, going to visit family that has a very hot place so I figured that's a good place to test it out for the first time so you'll excuse me while I do my makeup at the same time um but uh so the 30 day devotional we started today I did my morning devotional with the 30 day a walk with Jesus and it's talking about faith and like you know I was talking about how yesterday um I felt like maybe my the lack of faith, all my worrying and stuff like that is kind of blocking my blessing. So I thought that was really interesting that they're talking about faith today. And in it, it talked about Abraham and his wife and how God came to him at like 75 it was to say that he was going to make him, you know, the father of a great nation. That he, that he would be great. And it's like, well, his wife is way beyond childbearing years. She's barren. You know, <laughs> I can see Abraham thinking like, hmm, that's nice, Lord. Because <laughs> if somebody came to me, even now, I'm like, four, I'll be 44 on the 6th. And, um, you know, if, if or if somebody came to my mom at 69 and said, you're going to have a child. And she'd probably be like, no. I'm done having my kids. I've already been through the change. That's not happening. So I could see, um, I'm just doing a real quick one here with a little bit of my usual Napoleon Purdy's foundation stick and, uh, midnight powder, but I'll put all that stuff in the description if you guys want to see it. Um, but yeah, I could totally see like <laughs> somebody being like, yeah. I don't think that's going to happen, sure. But Abraham had faith, and he did what the Lord told him to do. And um, it's interesting uh, that in, in Genesis eleven thirty through 12, Genesis 12, 1 through 8, it talks about Abraham, if you guys want to look that up. Or just go do the devotional. I, it's going to be great. I know it is. Um, but yeah, his wife can't have no kids. She's beyond that age of having kids. And of course, we all know what happens. Um, in Hebrew... 11 12 it says therefore one man himself as good as dead were born as many as the stars of the sky in multitude innumerable as the sands which are by the seashore isn't that amazing from this old man and his barren wife <laughs> the lord decides to do something with you it does not matter how old you are, how young you are, you know, what's going on with you, it's gonna be done. So I thought that was really amazing. 
and kind of encouraged me in my faith. But yeah, you just think like, what? Like a great nation of people out of that, you're just like, what? And I am just going over to family, so I'm not gonna do anything heavy today. I'm just using like a little skin tone brown. You guys know I like the La Roque Pro. And I talk about what I'm using, not because anybody's paying me, just so, because people ask me like, when they see me out sometimes, they're just like, oh, what kind of makeup do you have on? So I'm just gonna go to an old standby and pipe a little light bronze in there, just so I can get myself out of the house. I gotta hurry up. My sister coming over. And we were talking about that too because she's doing this as well. Super excited about that. So yeah, it's just like, what? I mean, like, just really think about that. You know, I thought if my mom had a baby at 69, we'd all be like, <gasps> be crazy. Um, in Hebrews 11, 1, it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. And I think that's sometimes what's hard for me in my faith is that I don't always, um, I look at what I can see and I'm just like, mm, I don't know if this is gonna work out. <laughs> Instead of just remembering the promise that God made to me. I don't know, do you guys ever do that where you just forget about like, oh, God made this promise to you, it's gonna be okay. I'm just using a little espresso, but I might mix it up with a little bit of deep purple. I was using like the espresso brown, but I think I'm gonna mix it up with a little bit of the deep purple today. I do my little tap. I told you guys about that, but it just, um, it helps to get rid of any excess powder so you don't end up uh, with it all over your face. <laughs> You tap it off so it ends up on the table or on the floor or whatever's underneath you. I was just listening to um, Erica Campbell and with Lacree that song Help and I was like, oh, I wish I could play that song for you right now, but I think I get in trouble with YouTube if I have, um, if I have copywritten material playing in the background that I'm not authorized to use. You are not authorized. I'm just blending that out real quick. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere fancy or anything. Um, that just went on the floor, so we're not going to use that. So also, on Romans 10, 17, it says, Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the word about Christ. So I'm going to encourage you guys, and I hope you all will encourage me too, to stay in the word. Um, and now, uh, Libby has been encouraging me to stay in the word. Libby girl, I hope you don't mind me mentioning your name, but I do appreciate your encouragement. It has really, really helped. Um, it's nice to have somebody like really encouraging you. I think I'm gonna do silver instead. I like totally changed my mind. But this might be a little more nighttime. Man, yeah, maybe it is a little more nighttime. Well, what's done is done. <laughs> it is done. So yes, I appreciate it. And I'm gonna put a link in the bottom there uh, to a song that she sent me. And, um, wait, hold on. All right, so I found the um, song is by Vashon Mitchell, Turning Around From Me. She sent me a link to the YouTube video, which I love. Thank you so much, that was very encouraging. I appreciate that. I appreciate any encouragement I can get. It is already hot in here. Like I have the AC on and it's still like burning up on me today. Um, so yes, thank you so much Libby for sending that to me. I'm gonna have a link to the video below if anybody else is interested in um, listening to it as well. I'm gonna use Girl Meets Pearl just because I, at first I wasn't super digging the pearl yesterday and then I was like, you know, it's not bad kind of growing on me. So yes, thank you so much, Libby. She's such a sweetheart. I'm doing this with my fingers. It's probably better to just do it, especially if you're going to do it on somebody else. 
bring yourself to do it maybe with like a spend or something. I put this on my forehead and then after I start doing it, I think, oh, Shuri, your forehead's big anyway. What are you doing? But I still do it anyway. Because I love the shimmer. I love the shimmer. All right, I'm just going to put a little bit of sparkle. Because there's not that much in this container anyway. It's like almost gone. You can use any illuminator. Yesterday I was using Moonbeam. Not getting very much out of there. Oh, there we go. Turning around. I don't know if I'm allowed to sing the song. You guys probably don't want to hear me sing anyway because I do not have a very good voice. Um, this I, when I try, it doesn't <laughs> that don't turn out so good. <laughs> so I use a little bit of that. I'm using a little bit of a lighter uh, it's a golden orange sheer finish press powder, um, which I've dropped press powder over from Bobbi Brown. And I've had that for a while. I really like it though. It's really, uh, I like it for dim highlights, but I'm, I'm so dewy fritzy today. I think I'm going to put on a little bit of lighter color under my eyes and then, uh, This is just the, uh, just a, a lighter color foundation. It's not a concealer or anything. Just a little lighter color underneath my eyes. Alright, I'm going to put some eyeliner on because I seem to have to go. So, um, again, it's great to encourage each other to be in the word. And um, I want to encourage each other. Thank you, Libby, for encouraging me. I want to encourage you to do the 30 for 30 with me if you can. If you want to. No pressure. But I'm just saying. Uh, I'm going to try not to cover up my eye like I did last time when I was doing my eyeliner. I start in the middle and go out. Now, I need to find a new liner. If I use the pot liners like from MAC, they stay put. And I can do like a big wing and it's going to stay put. This one does not say put as much, so I just should do like a super small wing with it because I don't feel like um, pulling out the pot and the brushes and stuff. I'll have to do that um, sometime for you guys. So everybody talk to me. Let me know what you think. Like, do you prefer I just do the devotionals? after my makeup is done um do you care that i'm doing it while my makeup is done did i notice that i had a string of in there um like what are you thinking what do you know what do you think what do you say i notice i have like a little bit more of this on the other eye on that eye than i did on this eye so I'm just trying to even it out. All right. Uh, and our last verse today is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understandings. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. I love that because a lot of times I personally will just, uh, I land on my own understandings. I look at like what, um, what I can see in front of me and then decide whether or not something is, is possible. And that is, uh, our understanding is not the same as God's and so, I feel like that's not really having faith if I'm just judging things. That's not really having faith if I'm just judging things by what I see. Because faith is the belief in things that are not 
Sim. I don't know what kind of lipstick I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna pause it for a second. Alright, I'm gonna put on the Vivid Violet, uh, the Old Day by Cootie. From Smashbox. Oh, yeah, Smashbox. I really like Smashbox. Because not all makeup companies do uh, colors that work well under her skin, and they do, so that's really good. Um, so yeah, think about, do you lean on your own understanding, or are you actually having faith and trusting in God? And um, I think that's something that I have to ask myself a lot, is um, like, what do you believe, and what are you, like, what do I believe, what am I... Um, making my moves on what am i uh what am i trusting in am i trusting in the almighty dollar am i trusting in the lord am i trusting in just in myself and my own wits and street knowledge which i have none i'm gonna go with a little bit of this one she's kind of bronzy bronzy orangey uh La, da, da, da. so yeah tell me guys what you guys are doing tell me if you decide to do the 30 for 30 feel free to friend me on you version just know if you friend me i highlight a lot so just so you know you don't see a lot of highlights i don't know if that bothers anybody else i'm not bothered if you highlight a lot i like it because sometimes i see other people's highlights and i'm just like that's great i'm gonna keep that i might use that you know when I do the devotional diva, so um, that's great. <laughs> I think that's all we have. I'm gonna pause this, put my hair on, so I can get ready to go. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, I'm back. I had to go get. My, I had to go get my hair. My hair. I'm testing out in hot climates because I'm, I, you know, I get so hot. It's ridiculous. And this is what I showed you guys before. It, they call it a shake and go, and I think this is the free trust in the Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Cherie. I talk to everything. You tell my nieces and nephews will tell you that. Which is more fun with little kids because then they want to talk to stuff too. If you do that with adults, they're just like, something wrong with her. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put this on. I do like this shake and go. Oh, I should have put a cap underneath it, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to go visit a relative that is very hot house, and I'm trying to see if this is uh, how well I hold up in the heat, or if I melt. Maybe I'll take a picture of myself afterward to show you the the carnage. I might put a little bit of hairspray or mousse on this to keep the hair out of my eyes. Um, this, this is hair on my face. This is like trying to be crazy. Anyways, thank you for putting up with me and dealing with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining me every day. Um, if you're returning, if you're new, thank you so much for stopping in today. Uh, be sure and like and subscribe below. And that's it for Makeup Dr. Shree and Devotional Diva. We'll see how this hair works out. It's so soft. I'm telling you, I've had a lot of synthetic wigs on. And this one's so soft. Oh, and thank you, Mom, because this morning she's like, pre-birthday gift. Um, and she gave this wig to me because it is like way too big for her head. I mean, and I have a big head, so I was just like, this wig fits great. And on my mom's head... It's way too big. And I don't know if I should, maybe I stretch it out because I tried it on before her. But don't tell her that. All right. <laughs> you guys, bye.